What's going on guys Bobby here and today we are back from vacation and back for another video So I haven't made a new video since the updates been out siege is back you guys know I love siege It is my favorite mode of all time So I'm going to show you guys 10 tips that you guys probably forgot or never even knew about So let's hop into the video and let's show you guys what these 10 tips are that are guaranteed to make you guys better at siege Tip number one how to properly pick up bolts on the map so before the first bot, four bolts spawn down. They're going to spawn on one side, then the other, then back on one side, and then back on the other. If I have control of the first side, then I'm not going to pick up the third bolt until there are six seconds left. The reason I do this is because it takes five seconds exactly for a bolt to go from you the second you pick it up all the way until your Ike. If you pick up the bolt with seven or six seconds left, then it's gonna to go to your Ike with two or one seconds left. And what that's gonna do is not spawn the other side's bolt. The other side bolt isn't gonna spawn until you pick yours up in the first round. So if you don't pick up that third bolt, the score is one, one, you pick it up with six or seven seconds left, then you're gonna win that round and you're gonna get the first robot. After the bolts spawn on the sides, they're gonna then move over to the middle. So you can kind of, control where you are before the bolt spawn so after you get the side bolts then go to the middle because eventually in round two the bolts are going to spawn in the middle so if you're attacking you know you don't have to go all in you can just hold control and then get more bolts in the middle and if you're defending then maybe you know let them have the sides if they want when they respawn or when you're respawning and then go towards the middle so you can get more bolts knowing where the bolts spawn is a really major advantage so just try and think about it and try and get more bolts in the other team tip number two always Always pick a defensive or attacking brawler especially those of you who queue up with randoms who I know most of you guys do it is very 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 important to have a brawler that can contribute to actually winning the game I know some of you guys want to load in and get a really good kill death ratio so on the end screen you guys can say you carried but if you're picking a brawler that can't stop the robot and if you're picking a brawler that does very little damage to the Ike are you really helping your team win at all for defense there are brawlers like Colt Spike Bo, Bull, you know, the list goes on and on. Lou, Bell, Pam, Otis, Gale, RT. There are so many brawlers that are good at defense. And for attack, you have Colt, Barley, Dinah, Grom, really any of the throwers, to be honest. Brock, Bonnie, Ems, 8-Bit. There are so many good attacking brawlers as well. Just make sure if you guys are solo queuing, especially pick one that's really good at defense or one that's really good at offense. You have to have one of them. Tip number three, make sure you don't overcommit, but also know when to go in. So when you have a bot, that is how you win the game. Obviously, there's brawlers such as Manny that could shoot from outside the range. But you're going to do a large majority of your damage when you're getting that robot and actually attacking. No matter what, if you have that final bot, you go all out. There is no point of staying alive and holding control after that. So once you get that third bot, go all in. You're going to die. Let the Ike kill you. Get as much damage as possible because that's obviously all that matters. If you have the first or second bot, though, this is where it gets kind of tricky. You have to decide if you think your team is going to be able to do a lot of damage or not. For example, let's say you get the first bot and it only has two bolts are you really going to go in fully against a Lou or a colt or maybe both when you know they're just going to shred your level two bot no you're going to sit in the middle and you're going to try and get more bolts for the next round you have an advantage since they're in their spawn using their supers and their shots to take out the robot just stand in the middle do a little bit of percent but make sure you don't die but on the other hand let's say you're in round two your team has a level nine bot and the other team has seven or eight bolts kind of you know they have that saved up so you know you're probably not going to win round number three that's when you have to commit that's when you have to fully go in and it is really important to understand when and when not to because that could be the difference between winning and losing a game tip number four be careful for brawlers that can shoot from outside the ike range <clears throat> mandy or can dive onto your bot now, if you guys played day one of Siege, you guys know that Bull was absolutely terrorizing bot drop. But now, thankfully, that bug is fixed. Bull won't be absolutely destroying Siege anymore. But there are still a couple brawlers that will do that. Firstly, there are a couple brawlers that can shoot the safe from outside the Ike. So brawlers like Penny with the turret, Mandy with her long shot, and Grom with somehow its long shot can all hit the safe from outside the Ike. It's really important that you're aware of where these brawlers are if you're facing them at all times and not just letting them get your safe down. I mean your Ike, sorry. Uh, because if they're getting that Ike low, it's really only, only gonna take one robot, which is one push, which is gonna be really easy for them to win the game. 
On the other hand, there's also brawlers like Daryl, Bull, 8-Bit that can full send and just go in your Ike and do like 50%. If you don't see a bull or a Daryl or something like that for a long time, it's probably trying to sneak up your side if you're facing it and then go for a dive. So again, just try and be aware of what's going on. Just one brawler on defense is enough to totally screw up those plans. If a Daryl rolls on its own, it could probably do almost 50%. But if there is one brawler defending, it doesn't even matter what that brawler is, you're probably limiting the Daryl to only 10% and it's going to die so you get the bolts in the position. It's not going to be worth it for the Daryl or the bull or whatever is going in. So just try and be aware and just try and have an understanding of what's going on around you. It's not just your game, it's also your enemy's game. So again, just think about what they're doing and react to it. Just to throw onto this, there are also a couple brawlers that can do some special things. For example, Barley, you can super from outside the Ike and that does like 13% or 15% I think. So if you're just standing outside the Ike, you can go right up to the line and just kind of, you know, chuck your Barley super and that's going to do some damage. So if you want to kind of chip down the bot, that's also a good way to do it. If there's 15% left on the Ike and you want to finish the game, you could probably just dive in with Colt or Brock or Barley or some brawlers like that as well. So don't forget, if the, if the Ike is low, you can still dive in. That's a very important tip that might end up clutching you one or two games. Tip number five, if you're not going to be playing an attack or defensive brawler, get a brawler that picks up bolts well. You have brawlers like Buzz, Carl, etc. that have gadgets that move them up the map really fast. Or you have brawlers like Shelly where you can just cl click uh, clay pigeons and you are going to absolutely destroy everything in your way to start the game brawlers that get bolts are really important and brawlers that just you know have a role in general like I said earlier with attack and defense are really important this ties into tip number one a lot so make sure you guys are thinking about all these tips because they can help each other if you're a Carl and you go get that first free bolt get that first bolt hold your lane and do not pick up bolt number three because like I said if you don't pick up that bolt you're not going to give them the fourth bolt and you're eventually going to win the game. Just stand there with Carl, control your lane, do your thing, and you guys are going to see first bot carries a lot because you're likely to get the second bot. And if you're not going to get the second bot, you're very likely to get the third. So tie these points together, win your lane at the start with Carl or Buzz. You don't have to get the kill, you just have to have control and get those two bolts. This is going to help you guys a lot with your games. Tip number six, do not pick useless brawlers randoms the useless brawlers do absolutely nothing in siege siege is a very different game mode than everything else it's not bounty where you need kills it's not wipeout where you need kills it's not gem grab where you can play tara hit a pole and get all the gems it is not like that at all you need to be playing the objective of the game you can't pick brawlers like m's or Sandy or Nita and just walk around and do nothing. They can't defend, they can't attack, they're not good for picking up bolts, maybe on some maps, sure, but just don't pick useless brawlers. You're not going to win the game. You don't need a Rico on your team. You know, you don't need a Sprout to hold control for an entire game just to do 2% and not be able to defend. Come on, guys, do not pick useless brawlers. That goes on to tip number seven. Make sure you're using high damage brawlers. So like you guys probably noticed, all the brawlers that are good at attack and all the brawlers that are good at defense are all brawlers that can spray out a lot of damage at once. You're talking about brawlers like Colt or Lou or Pam or Otis. These all can spurt out a lot of damage. And why are these brawlers so good? Well, because you have to shoot an Ike that is standing Still, you know, I've seen some randoms that have missed things that stand still, but I would hope you guys can hit stuff that doesn't move. So a robot that's running at you, that's easy to hit. An Ike that's not moving, that's easy to hit. And when you have these brawlers that have very high damage per second, it's just kind of hard to hit all these shots. Well, it's not that hard anymore because nothing moves. So make sure you use them and make sure you don't miss the non-moving targets because then, I mean, that, that wouldn't be very good now, would it? Tip number eight, stall the bot. Now this kind of goes in with the f with defending a little bit, but you can use gadgets, you can use stuff to just slow down the bot and make it easier for yourself and the Ike to take it out. You guys have to remember, the Ike does a lot of damage. I think it's now 1.4K a second. I'm not exactly too sure what the change is, but it does do a lot of damage. So if you're putting down things like bell traps, 
Farley slows. I'm sure there's a couple other things that I'm forgetting about right now. Even Tara pets, which kind of, you know, confuses them. A Pam turret for the robot to hit, or even yourself. You just stand there and have the robot hit you while you're hitting the robot. And while the Ike is hitting the robot, those are very good ways of defending the Ike. The more time it takes for that bot to reach the uh, Ike, the better. So slowing it down, chipping it down before it gets there. There's no reason to let the bot just shoot your safe over and over and over when you can just stand in front of the bot. Especially if there's no one around, wait until you're one shot, move out of the way, heal up when you're walking back up, but make sure you get in the way and don't just let the robot do unnecessary damage. Tip number nine, break walls. Breaking walls is very, very helpful, especially on attack. If there are walls that are blocking the robot from going to the Ike, which there is on just about every single map, there is at least on the two maps that have been out so far, well, then the bot has to walk around, which is probably going to take 10 to 20 to 30% off of your bot just by moving it around. If you can break those walls and make a direct path, not only for you to shoot the Ike, but for your bot to just walk in a straight line, that is going to be very beneficial for you guys. It's going to make you guys do a ton more damage. Your attacks are going to be way quicker, way easier, and have way more of an effect. If you're playing brawlers like Colt, Bow, Bull, just anything that can break a wall, your number one priority on your first push is getting that wall broken. Do not waste your super on, you know, trying to hit someone. Do not waste your charge on, you know, trying to get a kill. Wait for that bot to go up if you have the attack. Break the wall, and it is going to help you out a ton. And tip number 10, and probably the most important tip, pick Mortis. Mortis in Siege is a demon. I kept this one out of the picking up bolts category because this is just in an own it, this brawler is in its own world in this map you guys hear a lot of the brawlers that i'm talking about are throwers you know brock and colt and, you know brawlers that you know don't do the best into mortis mortis is the best brawler for picking up bolts it is the best brawler to counter throwers it is the best brawler to counter these long range high damage brawlers like mortis is actually good on siege now don't just play mortis only because it's going to get kind of annoying for your teammates to keep getting a mortis on your team every time but mortis is genuinely actually really good in this mode if you know what you're doing pick up the bolts go for the brawlers you counter do not walk into a bull with mortis if there's a bull on a bolt oh well you're not getting it go find another one just play mortis correctly and it's actually really fun and really good on this map when brawlers are coming in to attack your ike don't go for the robot Go for the high damage brawlers with your Mortis. Your assassin can get the kill 100%. And when you're attacking, again, you're not trying to slash the Ike with Mortis. Go kill their defense. Go do something like that. That will actually win you the game. Mortis is really fun in Siege. You guys should try it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be our final tip. So if you guys enjoyed the video, let me know. I love playing Siege. I've been like the literal number one Siege advocate since it left the game so i'm so happy that it's back i've been playing all day even though it's just ladder which isn't the most fun for me it just reminds me of my past which makes me so happy it, you know the good times in brawl where i can just play ladder all day and have fun it's a ton of fun if you guys like it let me know play this mode let's make it permanent but with that being said i enjoyed making the video i enjoyed being back from vacation i'm ready to grind and you guys will see that soon and i'll see you guys soon Peace. hey you Yes you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best? The most handsome? The most loved player on your team? And support your favorite creator at the same time? Well I have good news. You can be all of that and more, by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.